I've already covered simple outlines, which is also the most popular video on this channel. And it will work amazingly if you want to highlight some object. However, it will quickly become cumbersome if you want to add outlines to your entire scene. Therefore, I decided to expand on the topic, so get ready to check out full screen outlines. With the runtime fee gone, I'm back to Unity once again. For the tutorial, I will be using Unity 6, but it will work on older versions just fine. And my project is in URP. Alright, let's get started. First, I will create a shader. Make sure you select full screen shader. I will call it full screen outline. Then I will also create a material based on our shader. Let me call it outline mat. Then I will go to my renderer asset. In the inspector, hit add new render feature. Select full screen pass render feature. Finally, in the pass material slot, I will assign my outline material. If you think I've gone a bit fast, I have a full screen shader introduction video where I've covered all of this in much greater detail. You should check it out. In the shader editor, let's adjust the shader first. Go to graph inspector. In the graph settings tab, set the blend mode to alpha. This is important because otherwise this alpha block won't work. Now I'm going to create the outlines using scene depth. So I will create scene depth node. Shocker. Then make sure you set the sampling to linear 0 1. Therefore the scene depth node will return depth values between 0 and 1. It will return 0 at camera's near clip plane and return 1 at camera's far clip plane. And the values will go from 0 to 1 linearly. If you want a deeper dive at scene depth, I've made an entire video about it. You should definitely check it out. Now if you're saying it is for Godot, I'm really disappointed in you. Just because I've slapped XYZ engine logo on a game math theory episode doesn't mean the concept doesn't exist on other engines. Game math theory series or most of the tutorials on this channel are platform independent, if you pay attention. Anyway, let me show you what scene depth looks like so I will feed it into the base color. In the scene, let me adjust the far clip values. Okay, so the scene depth will look like this. Now the scene depth node is basically sampling the depth texture using the screen UV. Let me just duplicate it. And this time I want to offset screen UV a bit to the left. Therefore I will use tiling and offset node. Feed it into this UV. Set the offset to let's say minus 0.01 in the X component. Now I have depth values which have a slight left offset. And now I want to subtract the original depth from this one. I will take its output and feed it into subtract node. Take the original depth and feed it into the B slot. Now this subtract node could have negative values. I don't want that so I will take its output and feed it into saturate node. Which is a fancy name for a node that just clamps the values between 0 to 1. For now let's just visualize it. And I have outlines to the left side. Sure, it is looking weird on cube and sphere. I will fix that in a bit. But first I want to control this thickness from the inspector. In the shader, let me open up the blackboard and graph inspector. Here I will add a float property. Call it thickness. And here I will set the default value to 0.01. Now I want to make it a slider. So I will set the mode to slider which goes from 0 up to 0 0.05. Then drag it into our graph. Now I want to feed the negative thickness into the X component of this offset. To do that, first I will feed the thickness into negate node. Negate node simply multiplies our input values with negative 1. Now our output is float and this offset is vector 2. So if I directly feed this into offset, it would take minus 0.01 for both x and y. I only want to feed it into x component, so I will create a vector2 node, then feed this into x, and now I can take this vector2 and feed it into the offset. And I can control this thickness from the inspector. Pretty cool. Alright, now I have the left border. I will select all these nodes responsible for it and add them into a group by hitting the control G. I will give a meaningful name. Okay, now I want to add the outlines to the right side as well. Therefore, I will simply duplicate this group. I will call it border right. Then here in the X component, 
I will feed the positive thickness. Now I have left and right outlines, I will just add them together. Let's see how this looks in the scene. And I have outlines to the right side as well. Now I will follow the same logic for top and bottom as well. In the shader I will duplicate this group, call it border up. Then here instead of using thickness as X component, simply feed it into Y component. Then for the bottom, once again, duplicate this group, give a proper name. Then here instead of positive thickness, I will use negative thickness. Then I will add these two together. Then I will add these two together as well. Now due to all these additions, this output values may go beyond 1. I don't want that so I will use, you guessed it, saturate node. And let's see how this looks in the scene. Alright I have outlines, still looks weird on cube and sphere, but now I think is the right time to fix it. I will take this saturate nodes output and feed it into step node. Step node returns 1 if this input is greater than this edge, otherwise it returns 0. In the edge, I will pass 0 0.005. You can of course make this as float property so that you can adjust it from the inspector. Now let's see how this looks in the scene. Let me adjust the thickness. And I have nice outlines. Now of course I also want to see the actual scene color along with the outlines. For that, I will take this step nodes output and feed it into the alpha block. This will make my outlines opaque and rest will be transparent allowing me to see the actual scene. Finally, I want to control the color of the outlines. Therefore, I will create a color property. Drag it into the graph. Then I will simply multiply it with step node. Now take multiply nodes output and feed it into base color block. And I have nice outlines. I can adjust the thickness and the color from the inspector. Awesome. But there's one little issue here, so don't go anywhere yet. You have to stick around a little bit longer. The issue is, the outlines are getting thicker as I move away and it will get thinner as I zoom in, which is not cool, so let's fix it. Let's make a little room here. Now I will use another scene depth node and divide it with the thickness. Then I will use a screen node. It will give me screens width and height in pixels. Let me combine it as vector 2. Then I will divide this divide node with the screen vector. Then I want to use the X component for horizontal borders and Y for vertical. Therefore I will use a split node. Now this R is X component, I will take it and feed it into the border right. For border left, I will use negative X. Then for border up, I will use positive Y. And for border down, I will use negative Y. And due to these divisions, I need to increase the thickness range. Therefore, I will make the thickness to go from 0 up to 1. Hit save. And finally, let's see. Adjust the thickness. And I have outlines that will be relative to my world. Now, the cool thing about the full screen shader is, I can add any geometry in the scene. And it will have outlines. Pretty cool. Now in computer graphics, there are always going to be some drawbacks. The major drawback of this approach is, it won't work on transparent objects. So if you want to know more about the reason and a potential fix, check out this video and I will see you there.